I think a lot of people think about renunciation as giving something up, but I like to think of it more as letting go. So for me, the Buddhist path is about simplifying my life. And so on one level, that is about renunciation, but I find it much more helpful to think about renunciation positively. The way that I think of it is a process of refining our satisfaction. And rather than giving up pleasure, we move towards a deeper pleasure, a deeper satisfaction. Uh... You know, it can start on a very, very sort of small scale, if you like, you know, sort of giving up things which um, are unnecessary, and, or it can involve uh, a massive lifestyle change. Practicing meditation, ethics, um, reflecting on the teachings of the Buddha, you'll naturally want to start moving away from things which are unsatisfying, and you'll want to start moving towards things which bring you deep satisfaction and uh, joy. So I think it is essential but it's not something that can be forced in many ways, it's something that will happen naturally um, as you start to get into contact with who you are and uh, the things that make you happy and things that don't make you happy. But in our particular tradition you know renunciation is sort of in a sense left up to you and uh, it's a very positive, it's, it's for me renunciation is about actually letting giving more space for that, that, that's, that's that which is important in my life. And overall, I found that the things that I have renounced have, you know, there's a real sense of joy that's left because I'm not doing things that are causing me harm.